fitnessinformer.com president. Welcome to our YouTube channel or right here at our website, fitnessinformer.com. Today, to check out 100% honest, no bullshit review of Ronnie Coleman Signature Series Resurrect PM, the Ultra Concentrated Sleep Aid. Boom, right there. Today we're going to talk to you guys about this on four different categories, uh, uh, Ronnie Coleman Signature Series Resurrect PM. We're going to first talk to you guys about the ingredients used, then the dosage, okay? It's one thing to use proper ingredients. It's a whole nother ball game if they're actually dosing them appropriately. Third, the effectiveness, and then finally we're going to talk to you guys about value. So this is a sleep aid, first and foremost, to help you get a good night's rest to reach REM, because when you reach REM, your body produces the most human growth hormone, your muscles recover the most, and you can get up the next day feeling refreshed and hit the gym again. So that's the purpose of sleep sleep aids. That's how we're going to review this one here today. So in terms of uh, ingredients and dosage, I'm going to combine them together for the video because I think it's easy to talk about the ingredient, what it's meant for, how much you're supposed to have, and then what it does. So ingredient number one, mucana purens, purens uh, at 750 milligrams. Again, mucana purens at 750 milligrams. What this does is it's a natural, it's a form of L-dopa, dopamine, which helps, gives you sort of that happy feeling, kind of like when your cell phone goes off and it's your girl calling, you get all excited about it. Same feeling that this gives you the L-DOPA's release, it allows you to relax, allows you to feel good, and that way you're not stressed out before you go to bed. The problem with this is at 750 milligrams, typically you can see this dose up to like five, according to studies that I found on WebMD. So it is a little bit underdosed, and by a little bit, maybe a lot of it, but again, you might not need that much, especially at bedtime. 750 milligrams probably isn't enough, but not quite as far off as we probably anticipate looking at that. Then we have choline butyrate at 550 milligrams. This is a cognitive enhancing functionality. It allows you to think, it allows you to focus, which when you're going to bed, it's nice to focus on what you're trying to do and go to sleep. And again, this is dosed at 550 milligrams. I've seen this dose anywhere from 250 to 750 milligrams, so this is actually dosed fairly decent. GABA, gamma amino butyric acid, 500 milligrams. What this does is it helps release HGH, but this is vastly underdosed. 3,000 to 5,000 milligrams, or three to five grams is the ultimate sufficient dosage of GABA. I've seen a lot of sleep aids use GABA, and they all underdose them. Not one person has dosed them correctly, and I think it's more so maybe just trying to put it on the label. Not anything against Ronnie Coleman. I, I mean, they probably, you know, some people, maybe if you're really skinny and thin, you might get something out of this, but someone like me and most people taking this, the GAB at 500 milligrams, is not sufficient for what you need. The next ingredient comes from a mushroom. It's called phenobit or phenobit, however you want to pronounce it, at 500 milligrams. Now, this actually it works awesome as a sleep aid. It works better than any melatonin out there, in my opinion. I think it works great. 500 milligrams actually is a really safe area to start. I've seen this as high as 1.6 grams, which can be oh, crazy. I've seen it as low as 250 milligrams, which is more of a stress reliever, more of a cognitive enhancing sort of ingredient. At 500 milligrams, that's really optimal. 500 to 750 milligrams before bed, I think is great. Anything higher than that, you might have really, really good night's sleep. Now, I'll warn you about Phenobit. It can be addictive if you take this every night. In fact, Ronnie Coleman Signature Series Phenobit, or sorry, Resurrect PM actually says take it for five days and cycle off it for two so you don't develop the addictive tendency of Phenobit. Too much Phenobit can make you do some crazy shit too. So you don't want to be taking too much Phenobit and then you wake up and you're pissing yourself if you take too much or you just don't wake up for three days. So make sure that you are appropriate with your Phenobit intake. 500 to 750, maybe up to a gram at most if you're a bigger person, the Phenobit is what I recommend taking. Then there is a ZMA blend of 552 milligrams. In a ZMA blend, you typically want to look around for like 450 to 500 milligrams of magnesium aspartate. You want anywhere, you want about 30 milligrams of zinc, and you want about 10 to 12 milligrams of vitamin B6. Now, what confuses me on this is above this uh, and the label, they actually have vitamin B6 listed out at 15 milligrams, magnesium aspartate at 90 milligrams, and zinc at 30 milligrams, but then they have a ZMA blend. So I'm a little confused on that, but the ZMA blend itself is 552 milligrams. So Overall, decent ingredients used. Again, at the end of the day, this is a sleep aid, so I really look at Phenobit. Phenobit is dosed correctly. Everything else is kind of eh. I mean, GABA, again, you could take it out. I don't need it. Uh, Mucuna Purens, I always have a hard time pronouncing that, um, which is L-DOPA at 750 milligrams. Probably don't need it. Um, choline Bitterate's fine. Phenobit's fine. I think choline and Bitterate together have just been fine for or, or Choline Bitterate and Phenobit together have been just fine for me. In terms of effectiveness, it's four capsules, which gives you what you're exactly looking for. You do have a good night's sleep. If you've never taken Phenobit before, you're going to take this and you're going to be like, wow. That was good. Now, I've taken Phenobit in different products before. I really like it. I'm a fan of it. I don't take it every day, again, because I don't want to be addicted to it. I want to be able to sleep naturally as well. But Phenobit, it does work well. You do get a good night's sleep. Uh, no issues there. In terms of value, you're going to get 25 servings for about 28 to 30 bucks, depending on where you buy it. 
that's not bad. I mean, you can buy uh, you, you can buy Phenibit by itself for 20 bucks, which is a great deal, but Phenibit and Choline together for 28, plus you get the ZMA blend, which could be beneficial depending on the dosage, the actual dosage in that blend. It is a value, and I think it's worth $28, and I, I believe that if you have hard time sleeping, this is an optimal choice for you to check out, especially if you don't want to drink a powder, you don't want to drink a liquid at night before you go to bed. Four capsules, quickly goes down, uh, works within 15, 20 minutes, you're going to get a great night's sleep, and it's going to help you improve your muscle recovery and then allow you to feel refreshed, ready to go the next day back in the gym. Check below to see if we have a discount code to save you a few dollars on this product. Subscribe to our social media channels. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's in one of these corners over here. There's like a red button. It just says subscribe. Click on it, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Stay up to date with all of our new reviews we post right here to YouTube and fitnessinformer.com. Head over to our website to check out huge supplement deals, more reviews from Ronnie Coleman, more reviews in the sleep aid market, and to subscribe to our amazing podcast featuring Ronnie Coleman himself. It's called Be Informed, Live Fit. Our official website is fitnessinformant.com.